For many right now, money's tight, and that means saving it can be an issue. A new report by Bankrate finds more than half of Americans have less than three months' worth of emergency savings. All right, Dan Cummins joins us now with what that means for their financial future and how it can be turned around. Well, here's the good news for you. Americans have in total $2 trillion in savings now that they didn't have before the pandemic. However, only one in six households has more emergency savings now than they did pre-pandemic, and those tend to be families with higher incomes. But there's a way to begin rebuilding that lost nest egg. If you're like so many of your neighbors, you likely had a rough go this past year and a half, especially when it comes to emergency savings. Americans and their emergency savings may not be in as good a shape as we had thought. Bankrate.com found that nearly half of households earning less than $30,000 annually have no emergency savings. Same goes for 27% of those who earn between thirty dollars and $50,000. Only 13% of those earning more than $50,000 a year are in that same boat. Greg McBride is the chief financial analyst at Bankrate. Nearly half of Americans don't have any more savings now than they did pre-pandemic. They have the same amount. And given the widespread economic hardship, a uh, little more than a third actually have less emergency savings. So you want to turn that around, right? Well, here's the trick. You need to set a monetary goal because ideally you'll want to have enough in your savings to cover a half a year's worth of expenses. Even then, it's going to be a bit of a moving target for many years, particularly uh, from early adulthood to middle age, what constitutes six months worth of expenses is, is constantly uh, you know, resetting itself. McBride says none of this is unusual, really. He suggests that to start building back that emergency savings, you need to think about you and pay yourself first. Successful saving is all about the habit. So set up a direct deposit from your paycheck into a dedicated savings account. That way the savings happens automatically before you roll out of bed on payday morning. And keep this in mind. Remember that old saying, out of sight, out of mind? Well, building that emergency savings back up isn't hard if you think about it that way. The key is just move that cash before you see it. If you don't see it, you won't miss it. And that way the savings is happening automatically. You could also get back on track by setting a tighter budget, cutting out any extra expenses, and track that spending. Oh, if you have any other money goals, forget about them and focus on that emergency savings. But most of all, as we've been saying, before all the bills and the fun, save first. The biggest mistake is waiting until the end of the month and trying to save what's left over. Because too often, nothing's left over, particularly now that so many costs are on the rise. One last thing, McBride says if you're in business for yourself or you do a lot of gig work and don't get a regular paycheck, then you can just set up an automatic transfer from your checking account into your dedicated savings account on a regular schedule. For Stretching Your Dollar, I'm Dan Cummins.